Discord PY is shutting down forever. If it's the first time you're hearing this, go check out my previous video where I explain all of this. I'll leave a link for it in the description or there will be a card on screen. So then, as you know, Discord PY is shutting down. That means our beloved bots that we spent ages making with Discord PY will not be able to work again. However, that's not entirely true. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. The best alternatives to Discord PY. So let's get started. So then, so when it comes to these alternatives, there are a lot of options. And I say this because, so loads of people have forked the Discord PY library. And if you don't know what the word forked means, it's a term used when you're using Git. And basically what that means is, is they've taken a copy of the code and modified it or changed it. You see what I'm saying? So loads of people have created forks of Discord PY to allow for it to continue running. And these forks, these aren't exactly Discord PY because they're forks. They're not, it's not the exact copy of the code. It's a different version that has the same similar code, but have been modified. I hope that makes sense. And so with these forks, with these libraries, some of them are extremely similar, well, identical to the Discord PY library. That means you could theoretically switch your bot to those libraries without having to change any code, well, apart from importing it, importing the library. Apart from that, you could change your bot to run on a, disc, on a different library, so not a Discord PY, and that means your bot will not get closed down, will not shut down, and will live another day. So, in this video, I'm going to be going over the best alternatives, the best libraries out there that are similar to Discord PY and the best options for you to use for your bot to continue running and to live forever. So, in the first library, the, one of the most popular forks at this current moment of Discord PY is Nextcord. And this is a fork of Discord PY. As you can see here, this is a fork of Discord PY. And as you know, if you've watched my previous video, then you know that Discord PY has been discontinued and will be shutting down, which means your bot won't be able to work again. So this fork will therefore allow your bot to continue running, even though the Discord PY, Discord PY library will no longer work. I hope that makes sense. And well, this is a good library. Many people have used it and people say it is good. I personally haven't used it myself, it's got a fully documented documentation, so it's like so you'll be able to understand and learn about everything that you need to do to implement your this library into your bot. But as I mentioned earlier, this is so similar, you basically won't have to change your code of your current bot. So your bot's code will still be the same even though we're using this library because as it because it is a fork. Looking at another library, we've got one called PyCord. And again, this is another fork, and it's just very similar to Nextcord, the previous um, library that I was just talking about. And again, it's I, basically the code is identical to Discord PY, and also it has a fully document, documented documentation. So yeah, it's another great alternative to Discord PY. Ha however, hang on to the end though, where I'll go over what I think you should do in terms of this. Looking at the next library, we've got one called Enhanced Discord PY. And this, this again is like a fork of Discord PY with improvements as well. Something I didn't mention about the other two libraries, the other two forks that is that um, the owners of those forks have actually modified the code, which have added more features to Discord PY. So we've got the base code plus extra fe features, which is pretty cool. Again, enhanced Discord PY is another form that's similar. Some bits of it are slightly different to Discord PY, the official one that we were using. And again, it's got a fully documented documentation, so you wouldn't get um, troubled about using this new library. The last Python library I want to talk about is Hickory. I think I pronounced that right. Apologies if I didn't. And this, well, this is not a fork of Discord PY. This is something completely different. It is still a Python library that allows you to code Discord bots in Python. And it is just not at all similar to Discord PY. However, that could be a good thing. So you might want to change, you might want to learn something new. And personally, I've heard quite a lot of good things about this library. So maybe this is something you want to have a look into. Sorry, something I didn't mention is all of the links for these will be in the description. 
And again, at the bottom, it's got a fully documentation manual. So all good in terms of that. Okay then, so that's kind of all of the Python libraries that you can use for your Discord bot. So these libraries are all great alternatives to the Discord PY library and will mean that your bot will still be able to work, still be able to run, even though that Discord PY has shut down forever. And in some of these libraries like NextCord, it is basically you won't have to rewrite the code because it's basically because it's a fork it's basically identical which is a great advantage so if you spent hours creating your discord bot in discord py i can show you how to switch over to this next chord library without basically having to change any of your code so that's a great advantage however so the reason in why discord py is having to shut down is because the owner danny hasn't got time to maintain it anymore which is fair enough However, on April in 2022, Discord uh, were requiring all Discord bots to use slash commands and Discord PY does not support slash commands. And that is the reason why Discord PY will not work at all after April 2020, therefore consequently being shut down. And well, at the moment, none of these libraries that I've just shown you actually support slash commands. That technically means if they don't make any more changes to these libraries, then your bot, if you've switched over to one of these libraries, won't work after April 2022, which is not ideal. However, however, these libraries will most certainly, like I'm 95% certain in the future, shortly in the future, integrate slash commands. So don't worry about that. However, so what would I do? What would I recommend? At the moment, I'd actually say stick with Discord PY. Continue writing your code using the Discord PY library. And I say that because because some of these libraries like Nextcord are so similar to Discord PY, once they've integrated slash commands, it'll be super easy to switch your Discord PY library code onto Nextcord and for it to be able to still work after April 2022. I hope you see what I'm saying here. So continue working on your code on Discord PY or if you don't want to or if you want to switch now to like Nextcord, then feel free to go ahead. I will be making a video when I think is appropriate in the future about showing you how to fully switch over your bot to one of these libraries that I will choose, which I think is the best. So stay tuned for that. So if you want me to show you how to do it, how to switch your library over to, for example, like Nextcord without having to basically change any of your code, stay tuned for a video from me where I'll show you exactly how to do that. So as I said, I think the best thing to do right now is to continue using Discord PY until until these libraries fully integrate slash commands. But another thing I want to draw your attention to is Discord JS. And well, this is not Python at all. And some of you watching this video might only know Python and you have no idea about JavaScript. Discord JS actually has some more, uh, quite a few more features than the Discord PY library. It also supports slash commands. However, that's in a beta, but that will soon be out of a beta very shortly. I personally think if you're up for the challenge, you should switch over to using Discord JS. However, I think you should consider looking into Discord JS. Maybe it's something you want to have a bit of a challenge, like learn JavaScript while making your bot in Discord JS. I'm actually going to be starting a my own series, another series, alongside my Python series of how to make a Discord bot, on how to make a Discord bot in JavaScript. So if that is something that you like the sound of, you like the idea of creating a Discord bot using JavaScript, well then stay tuned for that series from me where I'll, I'll guide you through, like I've done in the Python series, but in creating it your bot with JavaScript. I honestly think that Discord JS is actually better in some cases than the current Python Discord bot libraries. Hope that makes sense in what I've just said. But I'll cover all of this in a later video. I'll explain it all, so don't worry about that now, so stick to the Python library. So I hope this video makes sense and it brings some clarity in about what's going to happen in the next couple of months in terms of your Discord bot. So just a recap, a very brief recap, stick with using the Discord PY library at the moment. I'll be releasing videos shortly in the next coming weeks into in showing you how to switch your bot over to one of these libraries in a library that I will choose in which I believe will be the best library and that will have slash commands integrated into that. So stick with Discord PY at the moment and then I will release a video and guide you through the process of switching over. So I hope this video makes sense, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's relieved the stress if you've had any in terms of your Discord bot being shut down because don't worry I won't let that happen. But anyway, I'll catch you all in the next video. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you later.